Good morning, good people of the internet. Um, so I was recently contacted by um, <clears throat> someone who's interested in um, one of my videos on um, a filter that I that I wrote that I was basically just filtering a list in um, real time using um, NGXX state management. So um, this is the state management library here, NGXX. I like it. It's a little bit um, more, it's a, it's a more simplified um, library for state management for Angular. I like it. Um, maybe that's because um, I'm simple, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so uh, the guy was basically just, he was just asking me um, to kind of explain the code. Um, so what I did is I created a sample here that I added to the video on um, on YouTube. And um, I'm going to include it in the, the link to this in the video. So I created a little stack buzz, um, stack blitz project. And um, basically, you have a list of names. Um, it's an object. Well, sorry, it's an object array um, with some um, people in it. Their their names and their age. And you can filter it by the name by just typing the name, right, or the first letter, whatever it is, is unique. Um, when you um, clear the filter, it restores the list. So there are a couple of things that have to happen here. First, you need to install the the NGX store, right? And the entire process, the introduction, the getting started, and so forth. So once is on the site. So this is the site um, uh, NGX NGX dot io. And I'm going to put that in the link to this video as well. There's a nice explainer. And the three main things um, that are involved in state management are here. Again, this is like a Redux pattern. So if you're familiar with Redux, then this should be pretty familiar to you. But the reason why I really like it is because the selects um, are very functional. Like it's easy for me to understand how the select works, how to apply filters. And um, it's all observable and reactive and all that nice, wonderful stuff. So, um, to the code. So, what we have here is just basically the um, list being displayed and the the list being displayed and the text box to filter it. So, I just created a, a reactive form for the for the actual um, text box and just you know regular reactive form stuff um, the control name the form object and so forth so you don't necessarily have to use reactive forms you could use temp templates or you could have your own form plugin that's up to you but you need to be able or just a plain text box you just need to be able to detect the change event you know when somebody types something into the box um, and be able to pull those values and pass it to the back end so that you can um, engage the filter. So there's this this aspect which is the display layer and then I just have a ng4 that's going to show observable of the actual um, people observable. Um, because it's uh, observable I use the async type here to um, actually subscribe to the observable, and I'm using the JSON pipe here to parse the information out to the object and display it. So, just basic, normal um, Angular stuff in terms of displaying and um, you know iterating over observables. So the magic happens in two places. Well, you know, it's not really magic, but it is really. Um, so there's in the uninit statement. I am well. The first thing I'm doing is I'm creating, I'm um, initializing the uh, the observable in the constructor. So this is just a straight select here, where I'm pulling the people out of the the state. So state app. This is the overall state. This is a subsection of state called app, and then this is uh, not a slice of the state called people where this information is stored. I'm going to show you that shortly. So I'm just running this, and this returns an observable array of the people object, which I'm passing to this observable variable here. Um, 
for the filter, I am using the um, reactive forms, getting that particular um, text box, uh, text box control like input, and then I'm looking for value changes here. This is the reason why I'm using the reactive forms because it could do stuff like um, value changes and just get the event straight. Now, this in itself is an observable, so I'm piping this to a debunk timer so that um, it doesn't overwhelm the system. I mean, this is just good practice. This is a very small list, so it's, it's probably not necessary to use this, but, you know, it's there. So what the debunk, time, debunk timer does is that it creates a delay um, on the keystrokes so that every keystroke does not necessarily initiate a, a, a search right away. Right, I, they might be taxing on the, the system. So I'm subscribing to this, and then I'm getting the name, right, that's um, being passed here in the pipe. And then I'm passing that to um, a filter that I created in the state. That is really just a, um, a modified select. So you can see the same select statement here, but instead of um, me passing the state, and then returning some stuff from the state, I'm passing in a, um, a function, which is like a, the, uh, a select function, which is the filter function that takes the name. And that is assigned to the people object. So this gets reassigned. So the first one is just to do the um, initialization, which is the full list when the page loads. And this one in the uninit subscribes to the form, gets the values from the name control, and then um, works with the filter. So let's go up to the app state now. And this is the actual state of the application where I have defined a people interface. I'm using the people interface in my app state model. All right, this is just good practice. You don't actually need these two sections here. Actually, you do need this section the app state model, but you don't need this section here with the interface. That's just good practice so that I, I like to keep my objects clean and want to have references when I'm, um, when, when I'm typing stuff out so I know where it goes and what's what. Um, I have a basic um, people array with the people objects in here, right? And um, then I have my select decorator and my select function which is static so this is static on the up, up state object which allows me to just call it on the object without creating a new instance of it so the name filter just takes a name it uses the create selector the app state and then from that point on it's just a basic um, JavaScript filter function so this is an array I'm using the filter function I'm passing in people. I'm checking to see if the name exists in the state. If the name exists, I run this. <coughs> sorry, I run this um, includes in the name to get the val to um, compare the values to the string, and then I just return the information if it's there. So if it's not, then I'm just returning the value itself. So what that does is when this is blank, right, means name doesn't exist it will return everything in the array. But if I provide a criteria like M, it will only return the matching objects because the other objects do not include this particular letter, so they won't be returned. Um, and then I'm just applying a sort here to sort by um, to sort by age, right? So it's just a, just a basic sort. I didn't even think I specified age. I just put this in here as an example of the ability to chain these things. So you could have more than one filter, right? Depending on what it is you're trying to do. So like if you had um, something where you're trying to filter for age as well, you could have a select drop down to just like age or a text box where you could type in age and filter for age, right? And you wouldn't need to create a new select for that. You would just need to be able to, you just need to add it to this chain. You just need to add a filter for age to this chain, and that would work just as well. So um, this is just a basic explainer of the code. It's kind of um, it's kind of just a straightforward um, a straightforward thing. But like I said, I'm put I'm gonna add the link 
for the sample to this video so um, people could check it out. And, um, you know, I hope this wasn't too confusing. I am super, super busy recently. So um, I got some other stuff I got to get to. So I was just putting this up quick. I uh, know it's probably a little bit sloppy with the explainer. But um, uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's just an object. This like is just a, a normal um, a normal function that takes some information and applies a normal JavaScript filter. So if you want to, you know, if you want to understand how the filter works and so forth, you just need to um, Google, you know, the JavaScript filter and it has all the information there on how to apply the filter and so forth. Because basically once with the state management, once you're doing, once you're um, performing actions in the state, they're just functions, it's just a, a, a good, well, a state management class, right, that returns observable information that you could push around the application. It's just an easy way to, for you to share stuff between components overall. So um, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope you guys um, find this video useful.